Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs, today with another edition of the M Show, what every maker should have one of. And this time it's about an addition to your collection of power supplies. Now, most of us uh, hobby electronics nerds uh, do have a good bench power supply. But there, there are cases where you just need one or two more voltages for testing or developing your electronics project. And the cheapest way um, to get additional power sources is just to convert an old ATX uh, computer or PC power supply into a kind of uh, lab power supply. Now, um, a few years ago I bought this one from Dangerous Prototypes, uh, which is uh, well known in the maker community. It is um, made by or fulfilled by Seed Studio. Also, you should know Seed Studio. So I will give you the link where to buy this. And it's very well designed um, by Dangerous Prototypes. So you just take an old uh, PC AT ATX power supply just connect it with the standard uh, connector and then first of all you have an uh, on switch um, you can see here there are some little orange LEDs uh, the first one is if there is uh, power here on the on the ATX power supply now if you push the power button all the other lights all the other LEDs go on where power is present because you might know that in, in modern PCs uh, not all the uh, voltages that were present in older PCs are uh, still brought to the to the main board uh, via the ATX uh, connector um, so let, let's check here what voltages we do have here we have the 12 volt rail we have the 5 plus 5 volt rail, we have a 3.3 volts rail, a minus 12 volt rail, and um, let's check if the minus 5 volt, even this one, is present. Uh, so I just got this older, it's, it's about 10 years old power supply, and it, it has all the, uh, all the voltages uh, present. Um, and what's nice is each uh, voltage is fused by a polyfuse, by a resettable polyfuse with I think three quarters of an amp. So you can't destroy your old ATX power supply and there is, uh, by that means, by the resettable polyfuses, you get kind of uh, a little bit protection of your of your circuit under test um, and perhaps you can see here is still provision for a large power resistor uh, that is because some very old power supplies um, they do need a minimum startup current and if your one doesn't start when pushing the power button then you simply can add the power resistor it's also provided uh, this is sold as a kit uh, not pre-assembled so, but there are only a few solderings uh, to make. Uh, as far as I can remember, you even get the binding posts here applied with the kit. Well, look it up for yourself in, uh, on the link that I give you. So, well, anyway, this is really a nice and cheap addition, addition if you need additional uh, voltages or an additional power supply. And because of the two uh, negative uh, voltages, minus 5 and minus 12, th this is very well suited also for analog circuits uh, where you quite often need a positive and a negative voltage. So anyway, uh, quite cheap this thing, very well uh, designed and every maker should have one of. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye from Roger. Bye from Kanker Labs. Wow. <laughs>